This installment is on a truly amazing and great feature that is new in Autodesk 3D Max Design 2013, and it's the ability to link Revit files directly into Max. So let's go ahead and jump right to it. The new Revit linking feature in 3D Max Design 2013 will link our complete Revit model. In the process of linking, it's going to ask us to select a specific 3D view of the Revit file. Those 3D views can be found or created under our project browser panel in the 3D view category. In this example of a house, we have the default 3D view as well as some other 3D views that we've created previously. For our example, we are going to use the exterior view. There is nothing else we need to do in Revit. We just need to save our file and jump into 3D Max. So let's go ahead to the next step in the process. In 3D Max Design 2013, we need to go to the import command from our main menu. Expand the import menu and it will reveal the new Revit link feature. Select it and it's going to prompt us to select the Revit file. Once we select the Revit file we are going to use, we select the link file. It will take a few moments to import the file. Before importing is done, it's going to prompt us to select from one of the 3D views that we have set up in the Revit project. In this case, we'll select the exterior view. We also have the possibility to adjust the linking setup by choosing from several preset settings, but for this example, we are going to use the default settings. We just need to select link file to finish the process. Once the process is done, we'll have the full Revit model linked into 3D Studio Max Design 2013. In order to view our texture maps, we need to go to our view pull down menu and select show material and choose shade material with maps. This will enable us to preview in our viewport the actual texture maps of the imported material. And as you can see, the model textures look exactly the same in 3D Max Design as in our Revit file. The camera we set up in Revit has also been imported, so we just go ahead and choose it from our active view. We can choose show safe frame, so we can get the full effect of the camera view. Also, we can modify the viewport scale and aspect ratio under our render tab settings to get the full scope of our model in the viewport. Now that we have set up our camera view, let's just adjust our camera exposure settings under the environment tab. Select mental ray exposure and we'll choose the outdoor daylight setting preset. So now let's go ahead and render our scene. In this instance, we will render using the mental ray engine, but you can also render with iRay as well. And here we have our mental ray rendering of the Revit project linked into Max. Very cool indeed, but even cooler is what I'm going to show you next. The true power of the new Revit link feature in 3D Max Design 2013 is the ability to make changes directly in a Revit file and see them reflected in a matter of minutes in 3D Max while maintaining all of our material, lighting, and render settings. So let's go ahead and let's make a modification to our house. Let's jump to our first level floor plan. We'll make modification to this exterior concrete wall and let's extend past the wall the box of the fireplace. Let's jump back to our exterior 3D view to see the changes we made. As you can see, the wall and the fireplace have been modified. We just need to save our Revit file with the new changes and we can go ahead and jump back into 3D Max Design. Back in 3D Max Design 2013, we need to go to our Utilities menu and under the Configure Buttons tab, we can find the File Link Manager. If you want to set up an additional tab, just change default 9 tabs to 10 and drag and drop the File Link Manager to the empty slot. Now you have it ready for future use. 
Let's go ahead and select it. This will prompt us with a new window where we can notice the red flag icon at the side of our linked Revit file. Choose our file and select Reload File. The reload process will take a few moments. It will prompt us with additional settings that we can modify, but for this example, we'll just go with the default settings. Let's go ahead and select OK to finalize the update of our Revit file. And voila, in just a few steps, and in a really short amount of time, we have, we have an updated 3D Max model to continue with our visualization of our project. Isn't this just amazing? By upgrading to the new Autodesk 2013 suite, we'll be able to cut down quite considerably the time it took us to have amazing renderings of our Revit projects. Plus, this new Revit Link feature in 3D Max Design 2013 will allow us to streamline our workflow considerably as well as have the most update and current digital design model throughout the pipeline with the least amount of worries or work, allowing us more time to create, explore, and visualize our designs. I hope you have enjoyed this amazing new 3D Max Design 2013 feature. Thank you.